Hi guys, I know I haven't done this in a while. Um, I know I mentioned in a couple of my videos from before that I was actually moving. Um, I'm actually up in Wausau now and last weekend I was at the Sheboygan County Sane Asylum. I thought it was going to be one of those places, you know, that's like, okay, whatever, people say it's haunted, and the basement where, like, the chapel is, and where, like, the rec room where people can go in the basement, you know, to do whatever. Like, I don't know, because I know in the chapel area, there's a priest that haunts like part of the like this one end of the chapel then there's like kids at the other end and I guess some bad things happen that the priest did to the kids and everything and I'm not gonna say I don't know if it's if you look it up it'll say but um like nothing really happened that I know of and um, we got to see the morgue. I know that's like the smallest morgue I've ever seen. First morgue, I should say, that I've been in. You know? And we all know there's only once we want to be in a morgue, and that's when we, you know, pass away. But, um... Like, I know... I'm still going through my e EVP recordings from down there. I know as far as history goes, I know there was shock therapy, um, hydrotherapy. I know there was a couple um, lobotomies that I guess happened at this place and I guess it was like a sane asylum at one point in time. I know then it was like a drug and alcohol rehab rehabilitation center, you know, like it, it was a couple other things beside the sane asylum and um, if I'm correct, it closed down in 2002 if I'm correct. But um, then once we got to the second floor, we're like the surgical wing is like the medical wing and where the nurse like nurse's dormitorium and you know where like the head people stay that that's pretty much like the second floor um we weren't allowed to take pictures in there due to um some people who messed it up um I guess apparently they were allowed to take pictures and then later on that night they were going and take like the shiny things like um, medical equipment and that and you know so we were being respectful to the owner of the building you know but I didn't feel anything up there um I guess in the nurse's dormitory I guess I think, I know they said there was seven nurses that hung themselves, but there was like two of them that was actually documented. But you know, back in like the 30s, 40s, 50s, like they they didn't want to um, document stuff like that. You know, because they didn't want to feel embarrassed or whatever. But, um,. The third floor. The third floor, I would want to say, was more active than the other floors. Because I know one story was um, on the third floor in one of the wings. I guess they had a patient that they tied up because he, I guess he was dangerous to himself and to others and 
the nurse didn't check. She didn't look through the window and she went in and I guess this patient bit through the restraints, ended up killing the nurse and I guess he ran out of the third story window. And that, and I know there's one particular room on the third floor in the same wing as as that murder took. It's like when you're walking down the hall, it's like kind of in the middle of the hallway on the left. Because there's like a big opening, I guess, where they can like look out the window sit, you know. Like, I don't know, I just had a bad feeling about that room but I know both times that I did the little the investigation the first time I should say I was kind of hearing noises over by um, where you come into the to that section like me and another girl was hearing um Sounded like somebody like walking. We heard kind of like somebody throwing stuff. And the second time I was up there with the group, that's when that's the kind of stuff I like to see, you know, like to experience. Like the wing that had like that murder or whatever. Me and a couple people, we seen like shadows like on the wall like and nobody was walking around on the other side we were pretty much seeing the same thing and like for driving two and a half hours south from Wausau because the times were like 7 to 10 then 11 to 2 so it's like seeing I drove two and a half hours it's like I'm gonna do both you know to make it worthwhile because whatever I didn't experience the first time, I did the second time in the tunnel to, like, there's a little bend. Like, the first time me and another guy, they were doing an experiment, and him and I, we both experienced that, um, like, it felt like we weren't alone, like somebody was watching us. So we got to explore the boiler room in that section the second time we were down there. We did um, the same experiment except one person was down by the boiler room by themselves. Another one was in that bend and one of the girls couldn't do it. So I was like, hey, I'll do it, you know. And I was maybe down there maybe for like five minutes and I was like ready to come back. Like, And that's not like me. You know, and like it felt colder in that spot than what it was before. And when I was down there by myself, I was kind of looking over the bend, and I know I've seen, um, like a shadow person kind of like coming towards me. Because I know they, there's a rumor stating that there's a person that has, like, his right arm, right leg on the wall, then his left arm, left leg on the floor. Like, that's what it kind of looked like. Like, he was walking, then he, he was going to go on the, on the wall, you know? And that, and I kept on hearing walking down at that end, like... Like, that's why I like to go to these things, to experience that. And, yes, I'm still somewhat skeptic about all this stuff. But yet, like, I do believe in it. It's it's kind of like I need more proof, you know. Because I know a lot of the times you can debunk a lot of the stuff, you know. But, um... But yeah, I know next month, right on like the 14th and 15th of October, I'm going to Fort Wayne, Indiana. And that pretty much like the same thing that I did last weekend. Um, but yeah, other than other than that, I had a good Memorial, no Labor Day weekend.
Besides getting woken up close to two in the morning, like about two weeks ago, found out a family member passed away. But yeah. Other than that, I wish if this COVID shit would end, you know, like the rest of us would. But yeah. But I'm gonna go. I got things to do. But I thought I would want to update you guys on that, so. Yeah. Bye.